My name is Matt Joseph. Uh, I'm at Dr. Vaughn's public speech class. I'm here today to inform my audience about the proper care of the American foxhound. <clears throat> A direct descendant of the English foxhound, the American foxhound was bred to the French hound in the early 1700s as a gift to President George Washington. This rare and interesting mixture created a breed that was popular in the upper class and integrated into the world of fox hunting. High expectations led to nutrition, grooming, exercise, training, and health, and are all important factors in caring for the American fox hound. For those of you who are following along on the preparation outline as I give this speech, we'll see that I've listed four sources. Primary attributions are highlighted in yellow, and second attributions are highlighted in light green. Please listen as I inform you about the five aspects of properly taking care of the American Foxhound. First and foremost, you'll learn that nutrition is the first step towards a healthy hound. The American Kennel Club, also known as the AKC, teaches us that foxhounds should be, should be given high quality dog food and food that is appropriate for their age. AKC states that good nutrition is important to help reduce overall health problems and with age to not let them become obese. One of the things you will learn when caring for a foxhound is how low, low maintenance they are when kept on a well-rounded well healthy nutrition plan. A puppy and young hound should be fed a high protein, high fat diet along with regular daily exercise to increase bone and joint strength. As an adult, a foxhound should be fed a, a high protein diet with an average fat intake. The key factor in keeping your hound healthy is regular ex exercise. <clears throat> As the owner of Whistling Dixie Kennels and a certified breeder through the AKC, the American foxhound is low maintenance when it comes to grooming. Through experience as an owner and breeder, the foxhound only needs a weekly brushing of the coat and regular nail trimming. The foxhound is a seasonal shedder, so you can expect around the start of spring and winter months, they will shed and will likely need to be brushed twi twice a week around those times. One of the best things about a foxhound is they only need a bath about once a month unless they get into something particularly messy out while outside. Learning how to give your foxhound the proper exercise needed to keep them occupied. According to the hunter's horn, foxhounds were bred to run long hours chasing after prey. That is why they need at least a solid hour or two of exercise every day. If a hound becomes bored, he will likely find something to keep him occupied and it will likely become a nuisance to you. Foxhounds also like to climb and travel under different objects. So an obstacle course type of exercise can easily be incorporated into your hound's exercise plan. Learning to train your foxhound can be a lengthy process but it's very much accomplishable. An article on PetGuide.com tells us that the biggest factor in training your hound is patience. A hound, like many other breeds, has a short attention span. Therefore, it is important to keep training sessions short. The article also tells us that speaking harshly to your, to your hound can cause them to become uninterested in training and likely resort in excessive stubbornness. Also, an article on dogtime.com recommends an obedience training class to aid in, the, aid in the learning process for you and your hound. Dogtime also tells us that a hound does not respond well to punishment-based training and will, like, and will likely cause more rebellion and stubbornness instead of instead try a reward when he does well in training sessions. The American Foxhound doesn't have many genetic health problems but there are a few things you should be watching for. An article on VetStreet.com tells us that the foxhound can be susceptible to hip dysplasia, although it is rare. A trip to your vet and some simple tests will help to rule this out at a young age in your hound. The article also tells us that ear infections can be a common problem in hounds because of their long flappy ears. Drying the ears after a bath will help decrease the likelihood of this. As with all breeds, routine heartworm tests should be done at your vet. A hound with heartworms or intestinal worms will cause malnutrition and a lack of energy. 
If not treated in time, heartworms can cause cardiac failure. In conclusion, there is a lot more information I could tell you about on how to properly care for an American Foxhound, but I have to keep this short. Owning a Foxhound can be a very good experience and with the proper care can be a lifelong companion. Contact the AKC or myself to find a registered breeder near you if, if interested in owning a Foxhound. Owning a hound can, can, help you, can help keep you in shape as well. With the frequent exercise needed to keep your hound in shape, it can also be a fun way to keep yourself in tip-top shape and have fun doing it. You may find after owning a fox hound that it is truly an enjoyable experience and may look to become a breeder or helping, helping a breeder in the future. I hope you enjoyed this speech.